It's Roland from East Marshakers, and uh, this is an exciting day. Um, so, we forgot to grab the uh, camera earlier, but uh, the brooder where we've had the meat chickens for the last uh, three weeks is empty. We've taken all of the chickens, we caught them all, and uh, they are now in our portable chicken crate, otherwise known as a dog crate. Um, and we are moving them, it's the best day of their lives. We're moving them to the outdoor chicken tractor, which we set up on our uh, borrowed land. You want, you want me to film from this end? Sure, if you want. Bumpy getting up here. They all sit on the ground. That goes in, that's it. I think we just open it. I'll get it, I'll go in. Let me go in. Freedom, ladies and gents. Oh, get out, get of there. out of there. So here's your water. There's also water here. <laughs> I'll go figure it out. I'm going to use this water first. Do you think the feed's too high? I think it might be. A little bit. I need to put it down. I wasn't sure.
So we just have a carabiner attached to the chain. And you just adjust it really easily, as Trish is doing. Well, they're yeah. catch some of them are catching on that they can eat that stuff. They can eat that stuff. Mm -hmm. Actually, there's a fair amount of uh, dandelions and things. They should like that. Oh, there's a toad in there, too. Oh, they figured. <laughs> now they're on top of it again. Oh, they'll soon not be able to do that anymore, Trish. Oh, I know. I think that they'd be enjoying it. Well, I think so. They're, they're not. They're, they haven't got the the that high pitched disturbed disturbed chirp. Or, chirp. Yeah, chirp yeah. that they have. They're they're in a good. Good place now. I just want to come see if they come to the water. Oh, come on out. Yeah. Look who's found the shade. Yeah. Okay, that one's going to the water. Come on, keep going. <laughs> you know it. You know it. Oh, sit down. <laughs> oh, they're eating. They're eating the stuff. Oh, there's one to the water. Got it? Yeah, mm -hmm. there you go. We you know it. You know the water. When they get a little bit larger, I'll try to I'll train them on the nipple, the nipple water. Um, but for now, they're used to just that that water, and I keep it there anyways, just in case some don't clue in. <laughs> but they eventually do. There, there's some of them. They're just darn ugly birds, though. Yeah. Their feathers are not completely in, as you can tell. So this is... Yeah, they uh, still got fuzz in their heads. They're three weeks old today. Yeah. We got them three weeks ago tomorrow. Yeah, they still have the down on their heads. That's why it's yellow. So in just a little less than five weeks they'll be... Um, oh, they're, they're, they're curious as to yeah. what those are. <laughs> Cautious though. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what is that? And apparently <clears throat> chickens are attracted to red too, but they can see it mm -hmm. as a color. So that's why a lot of the waters are red, nipples are red. Uh, so but you don't have to stand on it to eat. Come on. I think they'll enjoy it. They'll get a little bit of a shock tonight with the cool weather, but and we'll probably find them all huddled together. Yep. Yeah. In the corner. Yeah. Good. For Good those of you done. who haven't seen uh, the chicken tractor before, essentially um, it's a frame of two by four, and uh, we put a little bit of uh, we we rounded the corners. Uh, sort of, the, of like a the sled. Front, so sort of like a sled, sled, right? And then we've got uh, um, hardware cloth on the bottom. So it's well, going to give a bottom, fair amount of security. It's right. It's completely so, open on, underneath. Right. Uh, so that they can get out the grass, etc. Um, hardware cloth on the door. 
uh, chicken wire at the top and the chicken wire is actually underlying all of the um, tarp as well. Uh, the tarp pro provides uh, shade from the sun but it also keeps uh, wind out to a certain extent because uh, one of the um, most important things that you can do for chickens is to make sure that they have escape um, drafts. Yeah, so that they thing. can escape drafts, exactly. Um, so this doesn't do that exactly, but it moves in that kind of direction. Yeah. Um, they're all active. Yeah, and yeah. they're all going to like some, they're going yeah. to the water now. Um, and the way that we have it, the way that we have it um, oriented. oriented is because we usually get west winds from the west. Yeah, it so comes that from comes there, this way, usually. So it would hit the, hit the tarp and not go, as opposed to the other way where it would go right through. Right. Yeah. And then on the back side, um, we can attach wheels to that one and to that one. And then we've got a watering system. So we just fill up, fill this with water and it feeds the nipple watering system that you can see lined against the uh, side. Um, it's just uh, gravity feed, uh, so it's not <coughs> not particularly, um, you know, elaborate or anything else along those lines. Uh, but it does the job, and we can come out here with a hose. Is it yeah, it seems to be right here. Anyways, we can come up with a hose. The hose comes from the house um, and uh, it provides us with access to water. Um, we put the wheels on, so the wheels are in there and they just go on uh, through a hole that I've placed down here. Um, and uh, they just allow us to move it. Um, so we'll move this uh, on a daily basis and essentially what we do is move it the length of the entire uh, tractor so tomorrow it'll be here in this area uh, an entire tractor length up and then for I think like the first time I think I'll leave them for a day there like I won't move them until Saturday morning okay just just so they get to know that space <clears throat> and they don't poop it up so much anyways the first to begin with when they're that little right so uh, or clear it out so. basically we can get two. about two and a half days out of one of these lengths so we'll go up and down this space that used to be an old garden um, but hasn't been worked for a number of years and um, it's already had um, our meat chickens on here in the spring um, and we started at the other end so we'll be uh, working our way in the opposite direction this time um, you can see that it's a little bit uneven there are some spaces where there are a uh, little bit of divots uh, like this one right here um, whatever's causing that don't know and uh, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff in here. So there's some clover, um, there's uh, lots of dandelions, uh, a little bit of grass, not much grass though. Queen Anne Place. Uh, yeah, a little bit of Queen Anne's, well, I think that's the, um, uh, the fake stuff. That's not real Queen Anne's Lace. Oh yeah, personally? Yeah, I can't remember. Um, Etc. I'm seeing lots of bees uh, eating off of the or uh, grabbing nectar off of the clover, the white clover. There's one right here, a honeybee. And I see some grasshoppers. Anyways, it's a pleasant area for them, um, for the four or five weeks that they're going to be out here.
Anyways, we'll take you along for the ride. Hi, it's Trisha from East Marsh Shakers here today. Um, yeah, we moved the chicks, the meat chickens, out of the brooder. So this is an empty brooder. We did that yesterday. So today's chore is to uh, empty this mess, this um, brooder, uh, and put it into the uh, raised beds that we made earlier uh, a few weeks ago and that we're filling up with uh, uh, with um, triple mix. So we're going to add this straw and poop, chicken poop, to <laughs> that as a fertilizer for those beds. So anyways, um, so as you can see in here, there's layer and layer and layer upon straw. So we've got some fine straw here, which is what we began with. And I always caught, kind of kept the fine straw where they were laying at night, uh, <clears throat> where the heat was. Um, so anyways, so what you do is you lasagna layer, layer, layer. So every, every day, every other day, I would um, put a layer of straw. And they'd poop on it, and layer of straw, poop on it, and so on. So now is the... Day I've got to um, clean this out, put it in our Henry uh, cart, and uh, then we can uh, put it in the raised bed. So, so this is me mucking out the brooder. So I'll let you watch me from over here. I'll put you down and you can watch the, the whole system here and then I'll let you see how the how the chicks have um, how they have um, how they're faring in their new new area oh well, you can see it's oh, pretty dense and then I'm breaking it up as well And uh, so I'm going to do half of it for each of the beds. And uh, so rather than a shovel, it's easier to use a a fork, kind of a hay fork, a compost fork. It just works better, and I gotta remember put on the mask because there's a lot of fine dust particles with all this straw. So I'm sorry if I called it hay, but it is straw, not hay. It's just breaking it up. And some places it's very wet, so I don't know if they pee in one place or whatever. So that's about half of it. So come with me as I Bring it to the raised beds. So here's all the triple mix. I got six yards delivered. So I'll use it in some gardens as well. Coming around the side of our garage. It's Rachel's tiny house. And here's our raised beds. So Roland has filled up one of them. 
but I'm just going to add some and mix in some of this straw. So to those of you who haven't watched, we have a video on uh, how we built this raised beds. And so why are we having raised beds when we have all these big gardens? But in here I'd like to plant more stuff like herbs and, and uh, spinach and lettuces that you use kind of every day in your meals rather than the big stuff that you're going to... Uh, Okay, I think that's good, and we'll put a layer of dirt on top when we plant. I forgot to take you along. So, going back for another load of chicken poop. So, having meat chickens, there is still a lot of work to do with them, even though I you know, feed them and water them and whatever and move them. So there's a lot of work, but I feel that we are getting the best type of product available and uh, which is good for our health and uh, yeah it's part of being sustainable although we buy the chickens but if worse comes to worse we could always 
uh, we could always uh, keep if what we know is a rooster and a hen of the meat chickens to get that type of um, breed to start our own um, do the, do our own chicks and so on but for now it's available and we're doing it that way so ah, I gotta catch a breath and get a coffee um, so Rachel's offered to make some coffee for me so I'm gonna go over there for some coffee uh, thank you for oh hi ooh, I hit something ooh. anyways I got something in my shoe or a hornet or something ah anyways take care see you and I'll show you the chickens when I go out there later okay it's Roland from East Marsh Acres and uh, this is Saturday morning uh, so the last Saturday I think in September uh, we're getting the garage cleaned up so now that the meat birds are out we've uh, been able to take a brooder out we just swept up and Trisha is working on cleaning out all of the leftover remaining material the small little um, straw stuff from the bottom of the brooder itself um, and then we'll cover the brooder with the tarp and uh, leave it out here ready for next year springtime uh, for the next round uh, there's a tarp that we're going to be using um, and uh, we'll, we'll show you what the little meat birds are like uh, when they're out on pasture uh, we didn't get any of that from last from yesterday um, so we'll show you what that looks like today so heading out to the meat birds there they are we moved them early this morning around just after seven so this is where they were yesterday and you can see that much of the ground cover has been eaten and there's lots of uh, manure so this is all manure in this area here and so they've been moved on to a new section uh, apparently some of the birds have caught on to the nipple waters but uh, there's none there right now still have a fair amount of skittishness. They're all huddled in the corner here. Or Get over off there. there. Get off there. Get off there. You still want to stand on top of the feeder. I kind of got that habit. Habit when they're in the brooder, because it was lower. And it wasn't moving, but... Oh, there's a the water. <laughs> it's just, just dripping. Oh, you want to okay. turn it? Yeah. See if you can get it closed. Look at how big their feet are, like already. They're huge. One that levels off the top, and the rest are eating well, from three down below. On the top, on the middle, and on the bottom. <laughs> so, they all look pretty good. So, mm -hmm. 28. Still ugly looking birds, if you ask me. See that when it drips there, like a bit, 
they kind of go for it. But that's all my. Nice. It's got a good height too. You're supposed to strain your necks a bit because that's what they do, right? They put mm -hmm. their beaks in there and they go up. <clears throat> Let me wear it a little bit. It hasn't been too cold at night. It's been like 16, 17 degrees Celsius. And they seem to be doing fine. That's why you don't put them out until they're kind of fully feathered. Not fully feathered. Like their bottoms and their, their chests underneath and their butts don't have any feathers. <laughs> But they can use their wings to yeah. cover much of their bodies. Yeah, because they sit down then. Yeah. And, and this one's acting like it's warm. Yeah. It's keeping it's spreading it out. Yeah. Or sometimes you find them laying out, like with their, their legs. legs sticking out, and it, you think, are they dead? <laughs> well, that's because but. their legs are the only places that they really have to actually get rid of heat, right? Yeah. So they've, they've got um, blood vessels that are close to the surface. All right. Let's go see the other chickens. Okay. So, do you want to describe what you did? I'm eating raspberries. We're still getting a crop from this specific group here. There's lots coming. So, what I'm trying to do is make sense of this crazy mess. There's kind of groupings, like rows. This is one big row here, another big row there. And kind of a group there. They go all the way back, so I've made it to about here, a little bit further over there, and I'm putting cardboard down to suppress the weeds and then wood chips on top so we hopefully don't have to ever do this again. Makes it easier to access the bushes and it looks better. <laughs> well, in two years you'll have to do it again. Well. Because the cardboard and the chips will break down. Yeah, well, we'll see, but at least the weeds will be much, much smaller then. <laughs> Right now it's all kind of crazy. So the front part's done and then obviously this part in here is the most of it. So this is a plum tree and there's raspberries all the way through here. It's starting to go down the hill. Raspberries here. Here's a plum tree as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll grab some. And then two main rows of raspberry plants here, and another row at the back. Nice grass. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like coming, ripe raspberries. Yeah. Trisha doesn't. But Rachel and I do. Oh, come on, what? Oh! <laughs> they just got out. Okay, let's go see the other chickens. Troublemakers. Can you grab that bowl there? Oh, no, here's her treats today. Cutie. Here's Cutie. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, Cutie. There you go. And they're not just chickens, they're also pigs. Yep, big chickens. Albie, be good boy. Behave yourself, Albie. Victoria got some by herself.
okay? They're a little bit more spread out today. Okay. I love how they always push the golf balls to the back. Yep. Do you want to come get the shot here, Dan? So we've been having problems with egg cannibalism. And so we brought in this egg um, nesting box. And you can see at the back oh, of that one and that one, there is uh, there are a number of eggs. Uh, Trisha is also going to look inside the coop because we've been randomly seeing some eggs. I, I see a shell over there. Victoria's on her own. This is the one that we were nursing back to health and you can see that she's still at the bottom of the pecking order because she hangs out mostly on her own. But she's doing well, she's doing all chicken things. Yep. So. See yesterday they were all in the middle one. Mm. That's it? Only three? No. Oh, okay. Oh, it's too bad. Double Five? Five in there. And there's one broken one over there. So three broken ones. <laughs> Five and three. It's a score today. None under. Uh, I don't think they're supposed to have beans. Why not? They're toxic for them. I, I mean, I don't like why does anything toxic? They clearly have something that's in them. Yes. We've talked about this before. We have. Can chickens eat beans? Raw beans. Uncooked beans contain phytohemagglutinin, a toxic compound that will make your chicken sick. Okay. Here, before. Just dump it, Trish. They're, they're fine with it being on the ground. Uniquely, this compound breaks down when the beans are cooked. But again, chances... Crazy chicken lady kills the chicken she's always caring for. Yeah. <laughs> Inadvertently murders the flock. <laughs> Chances are they have to have piles and piles and piles of it. Probably. But still. And isn't that the women's form of murdering some poison? Is poisoning? Let it build up. Albie! Albie, come on out. I, I think he does that just to be the top of the pecking order. There's lots of feathers around here, and I noticed them yesterday, and I was like, oh, are we missing someone? But I think it's That's the dust bath. That's where Yeah, and then they're like preening themselves. Some more well, there's than lots in the, in, the, in the coop, too, so... Getting ready for their winter feathers. Fill the water up. Mm. Well, so I have to bring, I have to bring to food there. Four, uh, quarter full still. See, isn't that? That's Mirabelle right there. Isn't she looking good? She kind of looks small, but her feather, like her shoulders aren't bare anymore. Her rear end is, though. Is where, yeah, but, but it's, it's in. It's in, yeah. and it's smooth, <laughs> it's not dirty. Not like this one here, which we think is what, Myrtle? Not thick, no. 
No, that's Henrietta. Oh, Henrietta, yeah, Henrietta, Henrietta right. She had it, and we looked, and it's just dirty. Just the dust bath. Yeah. Boy, they're going for the squash. Oh, yeah, they like squash. Nice breeze.